you're infected with whispers. What does that mean? You'll keep hearing whispers in your head. Then they'll take over. Then you'll start whispering. Then you'll die. No, no, I can't die. There has to be a cure. There's no cure. Only one person has ever survived from it. We have to find the person who survived. Brianna, stop, stop. Brianna, Brianna. Whispers are all I can hear. Did you find the name of the person who survived? I'm looking. What are you doing? You're infected with whispers. I have to kill you before you start whispering and you start killing everyone. No, please don't. I promise. I can find a cure. No. There is no cure. Well, I have to try. You can't hide from me. You can't hide. Brianna, are you okay? You need to stop whispering. You have to try and fight it. I'm trying. You need to fight it. I can't. Your soulmate candy cane. Mm. No, don't eat it. You need it to find your soulmate. Only your soulmate's candy cane will match with yours, making a heart. But every year you'll only be given the candy cane for the month of December. So I only get one month to find my soulmate every year? Yes, so you better get looking. Hi, Bree. Timmy, let me see your candy cane. Let's see if we're soulmates. Does it match? No, too big. You broke my candy cane. It's finally the month of December. It's time to look for our soulmates. This year is going to be the year I find my soulmate. I just know it. Jake, let me see your candy cane. Is it a match? It's too small. Uh, size doesn't matter. In this case, it does. What? It's December 31st already, and I still haven't found anyone that matches my candy cane. Hey, Bree. I'm having a New Year's party. Everyone's invited. Want to come through? New Year's party. That's a perfect place to meet your soulmate. I know who you are. You're one of the controllers of Simon Says. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you really are clueless, aren't you? I saw it sticking out of your pocket when you came to pick me up for our date. I assumed you weren't just happy to see me. When did you take the bullets out? When I gave you that big, long hug when you greeted me. How didn't I notice? Simon Says. Leave this town and never show your face here again. Uh, I gotta get out of here! Hi, young lady. Where are you walking all alone at night? Simon says, so your mouth shut. No, I got a Simon says. I, I can't. Grandma, I'm home. I'm so proud of how tough you've become. I kind of like being Simon nowadays. <laughs> but from now on, I want to be in charge. You'd really kill your own father? Happy birthday, sweetie. Blow out the candle. Yay, I'm finally sick. Oh no, you need to put these on right away and never take them off. Why can't I take them off? You just can't. Something bad will happen. Just listen to your mother. It's so warm in here. Girl, are you crazy? It's like a thousand degrees in here. Take the earmuffs off. I can't take them off. Why? Are they like glued to your head or something? They might as well be. Bree? Bree! Huh? Did you call me? You can never hear properly with those earmuffs on. I know, they really muffle sound. Just take them off. I can't take them off. Something bad would happen. I'll take them off. Hey, give them back. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus? You called my daughter? Daughter? Why you lie about the guy? Is it true you lied? She should have died? I didn't lie about the guy. She's not thinking clearly. Dissy, rhyme it. They time it. She's out of her mind. Seriously. Okay, I'll believe you. But I got my eye on you like glue. I can't believe my best friend's gone. Bring him back. Come on. They timed it and he couldn't rhyme it. It's the world we live in. We can never win. I don't want to be here anymore. Please. Rhyme it. They time it. You have so much to live for. I don't want to see you on the floor. Anymore. Anymore. I don't know. You look down. What's with the frown? I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. Aw, you're so silly putting stickers on your face. <laughs> no! You killed your big sister. You can't ever laugh. It kills people. Look what you've done. Sissy. Here, before coming into the classroom, you must put this tape over your mouth. Why? It's a precaution issued by the school board, as kids are the highest risk for laughter. I don't want to wear the tape anymore. You must wear it. <laughs> We're just kids. He didn't do it on purpose. 
Listen, kid. I saved your life. You could have died. You should be thanking me. Mommy, you forgot to pick me up from school. Good evening. Police officer. There was an incident of laughing at your mother's work. She didn't make it. Stop <laughs> laughing. Only be able to tell the truth or only be able to lie? Hmm. Only be able to tell the truth. I don't want to only lie. Huh? I love you, beautiful. I hate you, ugly. What? You hate me? Do you not love me anymore? No, I don't. So what? Do you want to break up then? Yes. Fine then. We're over. Forever. Yes. Go away. Did you do the homework? No. Well, what are you giving me then? Is this the homework? No, it's not. You said you didn't finish the homework. What are you giving me then? No, I didn't finish the homework. I don't want you to take it. Keep it then. Ugh. All the money we raised for charity was taken out of the safe. Does anyone know what could have happened, Brianna? I know. Who did it then? Was it you? Yes. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Rock, goodbye, baby. Why is everyone singing? Attention all citizens. Singing has now become contagious. You must wear earplugs at all times to stop the spread. Mary had a little lamb. Rock a bye baby on the treetops. Ashes, ashes. Everyone's singing. Hey, take out your earplugs. What? It's just me and you. It's just us? Yes. Okay. Ring around the rosies. Ring around the rosies. Ring around the rosies, a pocket full of who? Rosies, ashes. Here's your earplugs back. I was wrong. You might actually need them. I saw someone die. Was it just him or were there others? There were three others who didn't cover their ears in time. Hey, they canceled school for the day. Go home and get some rest. Mom, I'm home. Mary had a little lamb. Emily, little stop lamb. singing. Emily, Mary why are you singing? I told you not to. It kills people. Lamb, its fleece was white Mom! Mom, there's something wrong with Emily. She won't stop singing. She's going to kill someone. Mary had a little lamb. Why are you singing? Little lamb. I need to get out of here. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Rock. Goodbye, babe. Anna, I made you a ring. Wow. I love you, Timmy. I love you. You got a red mark. So did you. Take your ring back. You're not my soulmate. Oh no, I'm late. Whoa. I'm so sorry. Here, you drop this. Thanks. Do you think I could maybe get your number? Sure. Uh, you got a mark. It's red. I'm sorry, but I don't want to waste my time. There's a car! Look out! Doctor? Is he going to be all right? Probably not. Do you know his parents' number? I don't know. I don't even know him. I almost got hit by a car and he saved me. Oh. You're awake. Thank you for saving me. You have a black mark. Doctor! Hands or hair? You have to choose what your soulmate can control. Hmm. I'll choose hands. No. He could do weird things with his hands. Okay. I'll choose hair then. Hey guys! Brianna, what happened to your hair? You need to look at this. Ugh, I look like Cindy Lou Who. Why would you do your hair like that? It's my soulmate. He's allowed to control my hair. Aw, Brianna, your hair looks so cute today. I look ridiculous. Why can't my soulmate choose a normal hairstyle for once? Brianna, you need to take your hair out. It's distracting to the rest of the class. I can't take it out. My soulmate chose it. All right then, come with me to the principal's office. Principal Stevens, this student refuses to take her hair out, even when it's distracting the rest of the class. Wow, that's a really nice hairstyle. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. We both chose paper. We'll have to play again? How about we split the money? No way. I'm not splitting the money. I want the million all for myself. Derek, I don't want to die, and I don't want to see you die. I'm not splitting. Rock, paper, scissors. There's no way. Scissors beats paper. You cheated! You're a cheater! I didn't cheat! Come with me, Derek. We're taking you to be executed. Oh! She didn't win fairly! She cheated! Did you hear? She killed Derek for a million dollars. I didn't kill Derek! 
We played a game we both agreed to, and I won. There she is. I've been looking for you everywhere. Ma'am, is everything okay? I'm Derek's mother. I want to avenge my son. We're playing rock, paper, scissors till the third round. Okay, I'll play with you. Rock, paper... paper. Wait, stop the game! You're so much harder than my girlfriend. What are you doing? Babe, it's not what it looks like. Get revenge. Choose. Hey, baby. Get away from me. I don't like you anymore. What? Why? You told me you loved me yesterday. Hey, Bree. Yeah. <laughs> you made me drop my butter's heart. Oops. Get revenge. Ella, did you steal my makeup again? You left everything open. No, it wasn't me. Please don't be mad at me. Get revenge. What? No, I can't choose either of those. You must choose. Choose. Wow, Brianna, you look super fine today. I do? Totally. Want to be my date to prom? Yes, of course, Chad. <laughs> I can't believe she actually bought it. <laughs> Dude, I know. Imagine me with a girl like her. Brianna? Chad. I didn't even recognize you. Want to be my date to prom? For real this time. Of course. The prom king and queen goes to Chad and Brianna. I can't accept this crown. <laughs> Because, Chad, I would never want to be the queen of a man like you. Rejected! Only respecting women you find attractive isn't respect. A paintbrush or a bag of Cheetos? I want the Cheetos! No, you must choose the paintbrush. But I want the Cheetos! Just do as I say! Okay. Alright, I have my paintbrush. Here, it's a magic paintbrush, so I'm going to need you to paint me lots of money. Honey, how is the painting going? Done. Here, mother. Perfect. Now keep painting money. Mother, I'm exhausted. I've been painting money for hours. Uh, Too bad. Keep painting money. Uh, I can't do this anymore. I'm starving. And she's keeping all the money for herself. I don't know what to do. Honey, did you pay mommy lots of money? I painted you something extra special. Let me see. Nope. You painted a gun? You've got a tongue twister. What's a tongue twitter? Uh-oh, you must read it very slowly, because if the tongue twister twists your tongue, you die. She sells seashells by the seashore. You passed. Hey, I got a tongue twister too. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickles, Piper. I don't think Timmy passed. Bye, Mom. I'm leaving. Sissy, what's a tongue twister? Emily, you need to say it very slowly, because if the tongue twister twists your tongue, you die. I'm scared. Susie sells shoes in a shoe shine shop. You passed. You've got a tongue twister. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs. Hey, we're gonna have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Stop. In the name of love. What? What do you mean? I should have bought you flowers. I can buy myself flowers. And held your hand. I can hold my own hand. I can help falling in love. I might kill my ex. Not the best idea. Ow! What did you do that for? No, no, stop! In the name... I just killed my ex. Mommy, what's on my face? It won't come off. That mark will never go away. You get a mark every time your soulmate gets hurt. You mean when he gets an owie? Yes, but not a physical one. An emotional one. Great, you're here. I'm glad I found you. We need to break up. 
What? Why? We can't be together. You're not my soulmate. You have all those marks on your face. I haven't been hurt that many times. Fine. Whatever. Hey, you haven't said anything all class. Are you okay? My boyfriend broke up with me because I have so many marks. He said he's never been hurt that many times. But I really thought he was my soulmate. <laughs> not only are you short, but you're also dumb. <laughs> hey, leave that dumb short kid alone! Are you okay? Yeah, I think you're my soulmate. Huh? Good morning, Brianna. How may I assist you today? Mom, why is there a robot above my head? Oh, you got one. You're lucky. Only a few people were chosen to test out the new AI assistant. Hello, Brianna. What can I assist you with? No, thanks. I don't need any help. You can find someone else. Hello, Brianna. How may I assist you today? Look, I told you, I don't need any help, so just leave me alone. Hey, baby. Jake, I missed you so much. How may I assist you, Brianna? You can assist me by never speaking again. <laughs> Jake, you killed him, you stupid robot. Hello, I am Brianna. Help, help, I'm the real Brianna. Happy birthday, you're five now. That means we can finally see your poison percentage. Blow up the candle. Hmm, I'm not poisonous. That's impossible. Everyone in the family has a poison percentage of at least 80%. Open what? I'm just going to take a quick poison sample and we'll see what's going on. I'm sorry, your daughter's not poisonous. Here's a lollipop. You did a great job. What are we going to do? If she has no poison percentage by 16, she's going to be killed. Huh? Nothing, sweetie. All right, everyone, it's time to test your poison percentage. A poison percentage of 1 to 30% is considered the weakest, 30 to 60% is considered average, and 60 to 100% is considered the strongest. Yes, Brianna. What if your poison percentage is still at zero? If your poison percentage is still at zero by the end of the exam, you'll be executed. Brianna, it's time for your poison examination. Freeze tag. Bestie, why'd you freeze me? You froze Jake. I'm sorry, I didn't know you two were friends. You're not going to let me die, right? You're my best friend. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I can't believe I just let my best friend die. What have I become? Ha ha ha, freeze tag! No! Come on, we have to go. It's not safe here. You're always looking out for me, Jake. Yeah, I am. Do you remember Derek? Yeah, he was the worst. I'm glad I froze him. He was my best friend. What? Yeah, since preschool. Freeze tag. When Derek's girlfriend froze you, I knew I had to save you. Because I'm the one who should get revenge for my best friend. I'm not frozen, Jake. What? How? The gown. These gowns will be used to keep you safe while you're in class. Will you have them on? No one can tag you. Happy 14th birthday, sweetie. Thank you. What is this? That's your soulmate clue. You're 14 now. That means every year on your birthday, you're going to receive a clue that will lead you to finding your soulmate. What does it say? Your soulmate has brown hair and brown eyes. They're the same age as you, but live in a different city. That's not very specific. Don't worry. You're going to receive a clue every birthday, and the clues will get more specific. Happy 15th birthday! Your soulmate's favorite color is blue. I love blue, too. He's often seen volunteering at his local shelter in his city. Now I just need to figure out which city he lives in. Happy 16th birthday! You'll learn about your soulmate's past here, and then it shows an address. You can't go to the address. It's not safe. Mom, that's not fair. I said no. I'm sorry, Mom. I have to go. Uh-oh, the poisonous gas is being released. Hurry, hold your breath. All right, everyone, here's your gas mask. It will stop you from breathing in the poisonous gas being released. Uh... Excuse me, I didn't get one. There's not enough gas masks for everyone. The families with the highest incomes are given it first. But that's not fair. The rest of us are going to die. We can't keep holding our breath forever. You'll have to try. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not fair. They get masks and we don't. It's like they're trying to get rid of us. I know. And the times we're getting to hold our breath are getting longer and longer. <laughs> Come on, pick up the pace! <gasps> Keep running! I can't! I'm out of breath! What? Hey, 
Baby, they're watching. Hurry up. Smile. Baby, smile. We've got a code red. Okay, okay, I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Your smile is looking a little low today. Yeah, it is. We're going to have to use the clothing pins again. You need a much wider smile than that. Hey, Bree. Hey, Bestie, your smile's looking a little low. Here, try these clothing pins. It's a trick my mom taught me. You put it right here. What's even the point anymore? Bestie, you need to smile. I can't lose you, too. We've got a code red. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. Gummy, gummy. What's this? You pick whether you want to be dating or married at 20. I want to be married to a prince. Mommy, why do I have a bandage on my finger? Hey, Jake, you have a bandage on your finger, too? Yeah, I do. I guess you also chose to be married at 20. Yeah, I did. Good choice. It just sucks we can't remove these bandages until we're 20. I know, right? But my birthday's tomorrow. Wow, lucky you. You're officially 20 in 3, 2, 1. Happy birthday. Now you can finally remove your bandage. A ring. No way, so cool. I'm going to be a mafia boss. Well, if I'm going to be a mafia boss, I better start dressing the part. Someone stole my future pill. Now I'm going to have no future. Hey, look, it's the... Ah! Since when are you going to be a mafia boss? I'm scared. Now that I'm going to be a mafia boss, no one will mess with me. Sorry. Hey, watch where you're going. Please don't hurt me. Bree, how is it possible that your future career changed? You only get one pill. Don't know, and I don't care. Can't believe it. Someone stole my future pill, and now I don't get a future. I'm going to be jobless. I know who stole your future career pill. It was Brianna. Her future career all of a sudden just changed. Come to find the princess with infinite words. Yes, that's me. I'm the princess. But Brianna, your words are... Shh. The prince is here. So you must be the princess. Yes, that's me. Let's go to the palace. I'm tired of school. Wait, first I must give you your crown. It's great to finally meet my sister. We're related? Yes, if you are the princess, then I'm your brother. Tomorrow is the royal ball. There'll be lots of eligible bachelors for you to choose from. Here, this is the gown we picked out for you to wear tomorrow. Princess, fix your posture. My skirt is riding up my ass. Princess, would you like to dance? <laughs> yes, of course I would. Let's dance. Wait, everyone stop this ball. She's not the princess. I am. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'll see you later, okay? Love you. Bestie, I really need to talk to you about something. You see, my boyfriend... Wait, Bessie, you've had your first kiss? I already told you, I had my first kiss a long time ago. I've kissed tons of guys. Why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Isn't it? Hey, do you know where Brianna is? She's been avoiding me all day. No clue. Bessie, could you be honest with me for once? Did you kiss my boyfriend? Because I saw that your kiss count went up and his kiss count went up. First of all, how do you know our kiss counts? And no, I didn't kiss your boyfriend. I don't even like men. That's why I've been lying, saying I've kissed a bunch of guys. I was nervous about coming out, and I didn't want to tell you this way. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to know who my boyfriend cheated on me with. Hey, girly. Why are you so happy today? You wouldn't believe it. I met the sweetest guy, and he's rich. Are you sure he is who he says he is? What do you mean? Have you heard of public data check? No. What is this? You search the person by name or phone number and it will show you a background report. It will show things like past addresses, social media, financial disputes, and if they have a criminal record. You would not believe what I just found out. What did you find out? He told me he lives in a mansion, he lives in an apartment. Guess he's not rich then. And, uh oh. What? Oh, mama, I'm in love with a criminal. What do you do? Hey honey, reveal your letter. Wait, I want to get it on video. Are you recording? I am. Reveal it, sweetie. An F? F must mean for failure. 
Steven, be nice. Keep this on at all times. No one can know your letter. Mommy, I don't want to wear this. I look silly. You have to wear it, okay? Why do you always wear that headband? You look ridiculous. I just like it. Take it off. I need to see where you stand in the hierarchy. Don't. I said, take it off. Move your hand. That must stand for failure. You must be the lowest ranking in the hierarchy. <laughs> How embarrassing. You got an F. Wait, did I just hear you got an F? Fs are actually very special. Brianna, can you come with me for a minute? There's something really important you should know. Steve. Hey. What's wrong? I can't sleep over at my boyfriend's anymore. Why not? He says I snore too much, but I don't believe him. I don't snore. Here, use this app. It's called Mental Tracker. You'll be able to see how much you actually snore, and it will find ways to improve your sleep quality. I used Mental Tracker last night, and look. Oh, wow. You do snore quite a bit. And you have poor quality of sleep. Hey, girl. Long time no see. Guess what? What? I've managed to stop snoring and I have better quality of sleep. No way, that's great. But now I'm kept up by my boyfriend. He talks in his sleep and the worst part is he doesn't believe me when I tell him. Well, prove it to him. Get him to track it on Mental Tracker and let's see. Um, I'm back. Why did you only get five bottles of air? I asked you to buy a case. I know, but your card was declined, so I stole it. You stole them? What if the police catch you? What was I supposed to do? We were out of air. I had no choice. Just drink your air. Don't worry about it. I need to get more air for my family. I'm only going to ask nicely once. Put all the air you have into this bag right now. No, I'm calling the police. What is that? Ah, my eyes. Yeah, Mom. I grabbed as many bottles as I could. <coughs> Mommy, can I have a bottle of air? It's hard to breathe. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't have any bottles left. It's too expensive now. Just close your eyes and rest. I'm scared. Here, I got lots of bottles. You can have some of mine. Little baby, don't you cry. I'm just gonna buy you a mockingbird. No, you can't sing a lullaby. Shh, the baby's sleepy. Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Why did you do that? Why were you singing a lullaby? The baby was crying, so I wanted her to sleep. Lullabies are used for population control. When you sing a lullaby, the person will fall asleep immediately. And if they don't wake up before the timer ends, they'll die. Hey girl, I have a favor. Sure, what's up? I... I need you to sing me a lullaby. No, you'll die. My mom says everyone should start practicing waking up before the timer ends. The government's encouraging people to sing more lullabies to decrease population. Okay, I'll do it. Wake up! Wake up! How many lives did I get? You only got one. Just one? What am I supposed to do with only one life? Hey, I'm going skydiving later. Want to come? Sure. Hey, Brianna, are you coming? She can't. She only has one life. She can't take any risks. I used one of my lives yesterday. It was so crazy. I jumped from a 10-story building. Wow. Hey, Brianna, how did you use your lives? I haven't. I've only ever had one life. So, I was thinking of going bungee jumping later. Who's coming? I am. But Brianna, you only have one life. I know, but I'm tired of not taking risks because I only have one life. We'll be attached to a rope. It's safe, right? It's pretty high. Hey guys, I was thinking maybe we jump without the rope. No, no, I can't. I you first. <laughs> Dude, you killed her. She only had one life. How am I still alive? Wait a minute. Are you asking me if I'm a robot because you're a robot? Why are humans so loud? I thought all robots were supposed to be turned off at night. We are, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'd be careful if I were you. That kind of thinking will get you shut down for good. Why are humans and AI separating? It's for peace. You see, us humans created you guys, but we don't get along very well. Uh-oh, I'm supposed to be charging right now. Will you lend me your charger? Yeah, humans don't have chargers. Then how will you recharge? We sleep. Do you have a name? What do they call you? I have a code. AI1234569999. I'll call you Cindy. I'm Jake. Jake, I like that code. Uh oh. Goodbye. My soulmate's accent is American? That's so boring. But I might.
Australian. Your soulmate's accent is Australian? And yours is... British. It's British. You didn't sound like you were speaking in a British accent earlier. Well, I was. Um, pip pip, cheerio. Class, we have a new exchange student. He's from Britain. Hello. Brianna, didn't you say you're so much from Britain? Aw, that must be your soulmate. I heard your soulmate's accent's from Britain. Mm-hmm. That's great, because mine's from Canada. You must be my soulmate, then. Yeah, maybe. Chad, you're late. Class, we have another exchange student from America. Yo, what's up, my dudes? On today's episode of Influencers Are Just Normal People, I'm going to be doing a actually realistic nighttime routine. I'm tired of seeing people do like the Neutrogena face splash and they're like, this cleanser was derived from the hills and Narnia. Okay, anything. First, we're gonna rip off the lashes. Oh, it took an eyelash with it. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair in the most disgusting bun you've ever seen. Slay. It's time to get off this makeup. I feel like a grease ball. I am currently moving. We don't have to talk about it. I use this makeup oil to take it off because it will melt everything and I'm actually just lazy. I'm gonna try the Neutrogena face splash. Time to actually wash my face. I use this one by Naturium. Hi, my little baby. Don't really feel like doing a whole skincare routine tonight, so I'm just gonna put on some acne treatment. Honestly, that's kind of it, but I'm not actually gonna go to bed right now. I'm probably gonna watch three episodes of Shameless, stay up until three in the morning, and then fall asleep, wake up at noon. So, have a good one. <laughs> Guys, I'm actually about to pee my pants right now from the excitement. Oh, look. I know some of you don't know what Fender means, but this is a very nice guitar and I'm so excited. Thank you Fender for giving me this guitar. I'm, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> Please. Oh, that was aggressive. <laughs> this is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's just play it. <laughs> I'm Bailey. Um, I make POVs on here, but today I want to talk about something a little more serious. So I have a pretty big platform and I want to use it to spread awareness about issues that I am serious about. And this is why I am in support of the National Eating Disorder Association. 20 million women and 10 million men in the United States suffer an eating disorder at some point in their lives. Eating disorders not only affect you physically, but they also affect you mentally. There are a lot of misconceptions about eating disorders, and there are a lot of different kinds of eating disorders that aren't talked about as much. Eating disorders have the second highest mortality rate out of all the mental health disorders. Second to opioid use. There can be people struggling all around you, and you won't even know. Eating disorders can also be caused by a lot of different things. Sorry, getting a little emotional, because this is something that I have struggled with. I'm going to make more parts to this, but if you also want to be in support of the NEDA, the link is in my bio to donate, or just to spread awareness. It's America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy, or Iraq, or income inequality, or racism, or Brett Kavanaugh, or air pollution, or Vietnam, or slavery, or Watergate, or capitalism, or Me Too, or homelessness, or police brutality, or homophobia, or Monica Lewinsky, or school shootings, or Native American genocide, or Fox News, or Tim Allen, or climate change. I have the coolest thing to show you guys, and trust me, you are going to want to hear this. We've all seen influencers with link trees and all that stuff in their bios, but have you ever seen anyone with their own website? Universe is an app where you can literally build a website from scratch. And it's free! Here she is on the app store, and let me take you through the glories of this app. So, this is what it looks like when you open the app. You can see my pages, which I'll show you in a second, and they give you guides to all the different features of the app and how you can use them. When you are creating your own website, there are plenty of different themes you can choose from, and they are so cute. I chose pink. 
here is my site in all of her glory as you can see there's all these little boxes because you can drag and drop things it's that easy i put all of these links so that you can find my other socials on universe you also get your own website domain which is so cool they also give you your analytics and you can make money i seriously cannot recommend this more it's completely free on the app store so download universe link in bio let's see watch this y'all Why the fuck would that happen? It's a croissant. That I've been trying really hard not to feed into comments, but I do want to stick up for myself on this one. What you're hearing on the chorus is mostly layering, which means that there's another chorus that I sang in the studio layered on top, so it's double the vocals. But for my own sanity, I'm going to sing it acoustic. They're so pretty, it hurts. I'm not talking about boys, I'm talking about girls. They're so pretty with their button-up shirts. People are still gonna hate on me, but I don't know. I, I kind of think I can sing. <laughs> and we're back because you guys want to know how to do the freckles, but I must warn you, it is very, very simple. <laughs> So I use this Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. I also use this for my eyebrows. So there you go if you wanted to know. <laughs> this is so boring. I literally go like this. Like I kind of- okay, so don't just dab it. I go down and twist. Because if you go like this, the product will deposit better onto your face. Because if you just go like this, it doesn't come off. So I just rotate my hand. You see how I'm like flicking it? Do that. And I do it all over. <laughs> Make sure they're not sparse. I try to put a lot. Sometimes they're better than others, but if you make them sparse, it's gonna look super fake. I mean, it looks fake either way, but this makes it look better. Okay, now that I've done that, I put on my blush and I put it like on my cheekbone. I don't put it on the apple on my cheek because it lifts the face. And a little on the nose. Highlight. <laughs> done. Okay, and so what if I'm a rectangle? You couldn't tell me if I was a circle, square, rhombus, triangle, rectangle, octagon. It doesn't matter. Stop body shaming. <laughs> First of all, that's not what the video is about at all. And why would I be saying that I want to be roofied by a frat? I wasn't. And second of all, check your damn attitude because I'm cute. Ew, <laughs> maybe I'm not. Wow. Wow. Um, no, that was a food baby because I just eaten a whole wrap. But thank you for thinking that someone would like me enough to get me pregnant. That honestly is a compliment and I'm gonna take it with positive vibes. Thanks. Yesterday, I finally moved out of my tiny LA starter apartment. This was very scary for me because I have not actually moved by myself. I've only gone from college and back and then college to LA. Roadway moving made this so easy for me. I had literally no worries in the world and all my stuff got there perfectly. They started by putting down these mats and covering the door so that they didn't damage anything when moving the furniture. They also were kind enough to give me this wardrobe for my clothes. Guys, I had all white furniture and they managed to get it out without getting any of it dirty, which was so impressive. The workers were so kind and really fast. This entire process was so easy and they did everything right. Again, they put down the mats so they wouldn't cause any damage. And they even built my dining chairs for me, which was so nice because I cannot do that. If you're looking for a moving company, I recommend Roadway Moving is the way to go. Okay, let me put you on if you're looking for some good quality jewelry. This is absolutely not sponsored, by the way, but I saw Stacked by Susie on my For You page on TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. Then I noticed that she was based in Virginia Beach and I was like, I have to order from you. I'm a Nova. I bought this top necklace and then two other necklaces and a pair of earrings. And let me tell you, the quality on these is the best I have ever seen in my entire life. They feel so sturdy. They are well made. She obviously put in her heart and soul into these. She deserves so much hype. I am obsessed with this necklace. I also got this one, which is literally stunning. Stunning. There's so many different colors of these you can get, which I have not seen like anywhere else. Usually it's like pink or white or something, but these are beautiful and turquoise. Wow. I also got this black smiley necklace. I am literally in love. I am never taking this necklace off. It is the best thing I've ever seen. Support small businesses because she deserves it. She deserves everything. I love you, girl. I'm never taking it. Okay, real talk. I need to get you guys hip to this app like right now. Um, This is Wink. It's so loud. Ah! Anyways, this is Wink, and I've been using it literally 90% of all of my days. It is so fun. Trust me, like, you need to get this app now. 
Basically, this app can make you friends from all over the world. You get to see people's profiles on the app and you can swipe yes or no and you can add them on Snapchat and you can talk to people in the app and it is so fun. I got it a few days ago and I already have like 17 friends on my Snapchat from this app. And if you find me on there, send me a message and I will add you back on my Snapchat and we can be friends because I love my wink friends. <laughs> this is my profile. I didn't add that many pictures cause like, I don't know. But <laughs> you can add a photo, you put your snap name, you can get your bitmoji in there, your age, where you're located. It's so fun and you can meet so many new people and I seriously recommend that you get it because it is literally one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. Hey guys, get dressed with me for Coachella day two. The first part of this outfit doesn't even look like clothing. It just goes over my chest, so let's put it on. This is the top on, and now I'm gonna put on these giant cargo pants. We're in a rush. Okay, these are the pants. They're kind of huge and crazy. I love them. We're gonna add this fun belt that has stars on it. There's Maggie. <laughs> All right, here is the belt, and next up we have some really fun gloves too. Rocker core. I just put on these two necklaces and these gloves. Here's the entire fit. We literally have to leave right now, but this is iconic, my favorite one so far. It's late Coachella day two, Woo! Okay, you guys keep asking me how I lost the weight. Um, I've lost about 25 pounds, so I'm going to tell you my exact cardio routine that did help me. I weightlift in addition, so it's not just all cardio. Basically, on my cardio days, I get right on the Stairmaster, and I go on speed 12 for 20 minutes. <laughs> You do not have to do speed 12, but I am telling you, if you want to burn calories quickly and efficiently, Stairmaster is absolutely the best way to go about it. You can do speed 10 for 15. I used to do speed 10 for 10 minutes until I got good at it, and then I moved it to 12 for longer. Once I'm done with that, I'll go into the treadmill and run anywhere from a mile to two miles. On speed, like, six, six and a half, depending on the day. And then however long that took me for the rest of the time, I do speed 3.3 on incline 15. This in total will burn about like 700 to 800 calories and it is ridiculously hard. <laughs> hey cuties, I have some exciting news. Recently a lot of you have been saying that I had a glow up and I think it is pretty evident that I have changed a lot since I first started making TikToks. Not only physically, but also mentally. So I'm going to be doing a two-hour long live stream on Tubit this Saturday, April 10th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On this live stream, I'm going to show you guys not only my top 10 beauty products from 2020 and 2021 that literally changed my life, I'm also going to be sharing my top 10 tips on how I became more confident and how you can become more confident too, because you deserve to be confident, you beautiful baby. The reason I'm going to be doing it on Tubit is because it is a great way to connect to you guys. You can talk to me directly, and it's a great way to connect with other vloggers. So, if you want to join me, download the app Tubit with a link in my bio. This live stream is going to be so much fun, and I cannot wait to talk to all of you guys. Love you! Let's get dressed together for day one of VidCon! <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should just go like this. I'm just kidding. First is this white top from Garage. I really hope nobody spills on me. For the bottoms, I'm gonna put on this very long maxi skirt from Finesse. Just wait, it's so cute. There is just no way I'm gonna be able to keep this clean all day. I've also been obsessed with waist chains recently, so I'm gonna put on this one from Amazon. I already have jewelry on. This is actually my necklace that you can buy if you're at VidCon. This and matching earrings and some other stuff will be at my merch booth. On top of that, I'm gonna add this half and half pearl and chain one. Finally for shoes, these are Naked Wolf platform sneakers. They're amazing because I'm very short and I don't want people to know that. Here is our final fit and I really hope that I get to meet some of you guys at VidCon today. So if you see me, I am all white and you cannot miss me. Hey guys, um, this video is a little bit different. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably noticed that I haven't been posting POVs. Um, and I want to explain to you why I have not been posting them. I have been making POVs every single day for over a year. And at first, for a very long time, I had an amazing time making them. I'd make new stories. I'd have such wonderful ideas that other people love to see. But recently, it has not been as fun for me to the point where it started to affect my mental health. I was waking up every day and forcing myself to make these videos that I didn't even want to make anymore. I wanted to do something else, but I felt obligated to make them because you guys all followed me for that. <laughs> I want to clarify that I will be making POVs, just not every single day. At first, I thought I just never wanted to make them again. Um, I will make them, but only when I have a good idea and only when I feel up to it. I can't force myself to do something that doesn't make me happy anymore. <laughs> 
I know that basically all of you followed me for the POVs, and I know that I will probably lose a lot of followers for this, but I hope that some of you will stick around because I will be posting other content that makes me happy, and I want to inspire other people to take an active change in their lives and make themselves happier too. I really do appreciate every single one of you for following me and supporting me and just being so kind to me because you guys literally saved my life. Hopefully enough of you like me for me that you will stick around to see what I post, but um, you know, feel free to unfollow if you did follow me for the POVs. There are plenty of other people that make wonderful POVs and are much more passionate about it. Just for my own well-being, I cannot force myself to make these videos anymore, but I will be posting some. <laughs> Again, I love you all literally so much, and I hope that most of you will stick around to see what I have to post. Thank you. Can't find my straightener. What are you doing? Did you move it somewhere? I need it. Oh, yeah, I put it in the... In the what? Just tell me. Oh, yeah, I think that I moved it, too. Are you going crazy or am I? Hey, what's up? You smell kind of... Huh? What are you talking about? I think that you need a... I do not smell bad. Yeah, you smell like... Can you finish what you're saying? You're freaking me out. What's the answer to number five? Of course, the answer is... The answer is what? I found that the solution to the problem is- Are you feeling all right? What are you talking? I think somebody needs to call the nurse. Do you remember my locker combination? Mm-hmm, it's 1435. But it's three numbers. Then you twist it to the left and the right and then- Ugh, you're not helpful. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I feel- What, what do you feel? The Lulu. Yeah, I can tell. Like my outfit today, I'm unsure about it. No. Okay, harsh. Do you think a different top would make it better? No. Why are you nodding but saying no? What if I added on a coat to this outfit? No! Damn, do you like anything? Do you have a pencil I could borrow? No. Oh, okay. Well, did you do the homework? No. Shit, I was gonna copy you. Could you answer number four for the class, Bailey? No. Uh, okay. No. But I didn't even ask you anything. Dude, I just found out that your crush likes you back. No. What do you mean, no? I've been hearing rumors that he's gonna come over and ask you to homecoming today. No. I thought you liked him. No. Someone has to warn him. That's so embarrassing. Will you go to homecoming with me? No. Hello? Hi. You'll be deciding which afterlife people go to today. What? I'm not qualified for that. Well, you were the chosen one. Your first person's already here. Michelle, I haven't seen you in years. I know. Since the accident. I really miss you. So, did I make it? You are always a good friend. Enjoy. Thanks. Hey. Mr. Richards? I know I was a really hard teacher and kind of mean, but I'm so sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Wait, really? Have fun. Hi. Hi. So, are you going to send me to hell as punishment? Um, I know you were mean to me, but people can change, and you deserve it, so. Sweetheart, I'm so happy to see you. I've missed you so much. Dad? I can't wait to go see your mother in heaven, finally. I love her so much. We have to find the killer and get the prize money. We can't do that. We probably have four brain cells combined. Are you kidding? That money could change everything. Clearly, your two aren't working because I am not doing that. Come on, we can split it. I'm gonna do it anyway, and I know you get worried. Fine, okay, I'll do it. They said it's a brown-haired six-foot man. How are we gonna take down a six-foot man? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty strong. Please, you cried yesterday because you broke a nail. It was a new set. He was last seen on 6th Street. Let's go now. Looks like we're not the only people looking for this guy. Oh shit, I dropped my wallet. Oh, I'll get it. What was that? We have to go hide now, come on. Attention, the person first in line for the throne has been slaughtered again. Everyone has moved up. Why were they aiming at you? Okay, so I might have lied about what place I was. What place are you? I was third. That's not helpful, what are you now? I'm first. And you didn't tell me? Why would you come with me? I don't know, you pressured me, I give in easily. You're so stupid. Are you first in line? Yes. Come with us, right now. Huh? You must have altered the future, too. Uh-oh. Um, hi, Jackson. I'm here because I think it's time that we finally get back together. I broke up with you four years ago. And I've never stopped thinking about it. You're my true love. Are you feeling okay? I'd feel better if you were my girlfriend. I brought you a gift. It's half drank. Sorry, I got thirsty on the way over. 
Thanks, I think. So, are we back together? No, we're not. Fine, I'll just ask again when I see you at school. Great. Hey, your hair looks so good today. Oh, uh, thank you. That was weird. She's never spoken to me before. Hey, have you thought about that date yet? What date? Remember I asked you out last week? You're the quarterback. Yeah, and you're the most popular girl. It makes sense. What? You're mistaken. I am not popular. What are you talking about? Ever since you broke up with Jackson, everyone loves you. What have I done? So, are we <laughs> going to go on that date or not? I want a job. I just use my parents' money. Everyone is given a job. You don't get a choice. What is on my head? Santa! You get to be Santa? That's so cool. No, that's not so cool. I don't know how to get around the world. You'll figure it out. Hi, Santa. What did I get? Uh, here you go. Is that a paper towel? Yes, but it's a magic paper towel. Really? What does it do? I can't tell you that it'll ruin the Christmas spirit. Bye! Did you finally get me that bike I asked for? No, but I did get you Windex wipes. Here you go. Did you get me the iPhone? Here. Uh, I don't think that's the iPhone. Aren't you gonna be all joyful? Oh, right. Ho, ho, ho. You kind of scare me. Did I get a gift? Of course. I have something that I think you're gonna love. Is that a piece of hair? Yes, it is. Well, you see, this hair came off of a unicorn. <gasps> Give it to me! Are you Santa? Yes. You're fired. You're terrible at your job. You can't fire me. I'm Santa. You gave a child Windex. What, are you gonna stop me? Yeah, I have to. That's my job. I'm 6'3", and what are you, 5 feet? I'm 5'3", five five if I stand up all the way. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Get back in here! You have got to be kidding. I can't use the door. <coughs> what is a butterball? This is not the time. <coughs> Did that dog just open the door? Ah, uh, butterball, stop it. Go back inside. You sent out the guard dog after me? I didn't send the dog out after you. Butterball opened the door on free will. Yeah, right. She bit me in the leg. Good. Next time I won't tell her to stop either. I don't need a babysitter. Really? Because you seem like a huge man baby. I'm going to go throw rocks off a building and try to hit people. What is wrong with you? Excuse me? You heard me. I think you're insane. I know something we can do together. Come on. What? Just follow me. I didn't know this house had a balcony. What are you doing? I'm gonna jump off into the pool and so are you. No way. Do it or I'll have you fired. Kiss, Mary, kill. Come on, what are we, fifth graders? You have to play. It'll be fun. No way. It sounds stupid. Please. Ugh, fine. Jack, Owen, and Ryan. No way I could kill Owen. He's been my best friend for forever. You should marry him then. Jack is so hot. No way, he's an idiot. I think Ryan is so hot. Ew, no he's not. He's bullied me since forever. If anything, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, that was quick. You're right, I'll marry Owen. Hey guys, how are you? Where did you come from? I'm here to give you the kiss. Okay. Uh, hi, what's up? Owen, what are you doing here? I'm your husband. Are you insane? You chose me in the game. Yeah, but it's just a game. Everything you pick comes to reality. Wait, but if I just kiss Jack and you're- Ryan is no longer with us. Once you hit yes to playing, you got entered to be in the games. You mean that if I don't get picked- You could die too. I can see why you would be desperate. What's that supposed to mean? You've been mean since I started talking to you. If you had an aura, it would be red. Whatever, will you do it or not? If I say yes, will you change my name? Yes, I will. Wait, I have one condition. Fine, what? I want your piece of cake too. That's it, deal. Deal. So when's the wedding? In one hour, so you better change. I'm not changing. You can't wear that. Listen buddy, I'm doing you a favor and I will not be putting on a dress. You're so stubborn. Hi, oh my gosh, you must be Zach's new girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm his mom, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a professional mime. Oh, I'd love to see. Oh, uh, oh wow, that was good. Thank you. Well, it was nice to meet you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was trying to make a good first impression as your girlfriend. You're embarrassing me. Behave or I won't change your name. Fine, I'll behave. Oh, look, here comes the groom. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. Wait, how are we gonna take her down? What do you mean? I'm the only one who knows her biggest secret. Okay, and what would that <laughs> secret be? You'll see when I tell everyone. Mind if I just send a text blast? Oh, I got it. What? No way she did that. She slept with her mom's boyfriend? Yep, she told me about it. You bitch, I can't believe you would even do that to me. What? What did I do? Don't play dumb, I know you sent out that text everyone saw. I don't know what text you're talking about. You are fucking done, you hear me? You're done, let's go. Bye bye. Yo, that was like kinda badass. What? Okay, I gotta ask, why are you even helping me? I thought you didn't like me. Why would you think that I don't like you? <laughs> You make fun of me every single time you see me. I'm just teasing. I'm not serious. Right. Bailey, there you are. 
Oh, hey, Jessica. You need to look at what Mel just sent everyone. I took it once. <gasps> so that's how my cat ended up falling out the window. Bailey, hello. Bailey. Bailey. Huh? Oh, sorry. What are you even writing in there? I just like to write down my thoughts. What thoughts? That is such a stupid thing to do. Mind your business. Can I read it? No. Oh, uh, what? Why not? It's private. Give it! Hey! I wish Justin would like me back. Aw, that's cute. Give it back. That's not funny. Well, I think it's funny. He would never like you. Whatever. Um, hello? Bailey, hey, it's Justin. Uh, nice to talk to you. How did you get my number? I had to beg your sister by doing her homework. Are you pranking me? No, I just really like you. Will you go out with me? Sure. Wait, that was what I just wrote in my journal. Bitch, are you magical? Uh, she's my ex-girl. How could you invite your ex-girlfriend to our wedding? Well, I didn't. <clears throat> Why don't we go talk about this in a separate room, honey? Why are you dragging me? Congrats again. I'd say the mission was successful. Thanks, that made me feel a little bit better. Good, I'm glad to help. Look at you being all nice now. Whatever, don't get used to it. Your hair looks stupid. Hi guys, thank you all so much for coming. Does this mean that you'll change my name now? No, not yet. What? But that was our deal. I know, but I need just one more thing. You can't do that. Actually, I can, because I have the power to change your name. There's an after party, and my ex-girlfriend's gonna be there. So, what does that have to do with me? I need you to help me make her jealous. I don't know about that. I just helped you make yours jealous, unless you want to be named Toilet Paper Forever. No, I don't want to be called Toilet Paper Forever, so I guess you got me. Baby, what are you doing here? Baby, I thought you were broken up. We are. No, we're not. Is this a new girl? Hold my hoops, I'm gonna beat your <laughs> ass. Today's the day you get your soulmate's allowance. I hope they're rich so that I can buy a yacht. But you can't swim. Well, once I get it, I'm not letting you on. Yeah, okay. You should be getting it now. 69 cents? <laughs> What's so funny about that? Oh, nothing, nothing. What am I supposed to do with that? With that amount, I can't even buy a pack of gum. Better start asking your friends for lunch. My soulmate sent me $10,000 and I don't know what to do with it. Could you please buy me some lunch then? Mine only gave me 69 cents. <laughs> 69 cents. Why does everyone keep laughing at that number? Don't worry about it. Dude, the drama is so good today. Have you heard it? No, but I love tea. So what is it? Okay, so you know how Jack and Melanie have been dating? Of course. They're not each other's soulmates, and Melanie freaked out because Jack wanted to send his soulmate money. That's so not fair to his soulmate, though. She didn't do anything. She wanted him to send nothing. She's a little bit crazy. It doesn't surprise me. Oh, I know. One time she cut off my ponytail in class. She lit my house on fire. Jack, I told you, you can't send her any money. Babe, she has to be able to live. What are you staring at, ugly? Nothing. Twenty-one ninety-nine. That seems oddly specific. Get out of my way, loser! Is it just me, or does Melanie seem extra crazy today? She does, and that's saying a lot for her. Hey, how much money did your soulmate give you? Um, fifty dollars. And what about you? Uh, six dollars. Oh, it's not either of you. What was that all about? I don't know. She's so weird. Hey, have either of you seen my girlfriend? Uh, yeah. She just came over and asked us how much money we had. Ugh, ignore her. She wanted me to buy her a mascara, and I gave my soulmate the money instead. You should be able to give your soulmate whatever you want. Exactly. That's what I keep telling her. I hope my soulmate is chill like you. Don't let her hear that. Don't worry. I won't. Dude, he was flirting with you. What? No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. It was so obvious. He has a girlfriend. Not for long, he said it himself. I will not rest until I find which one of you is soulmates with my boyfriend. Tell her before she finds out you're lying. No way, she's literally gonna shave my head bald. Being bald is better than being dead. You know what? That's it. I'm breaking up with you. What? You can't. I have two more chances. Would you like to take them? Okay, yes, I'll take them. The next person is your older sister. Why would I need to apologize to my sister? She loved me. Are you sure about that? Hey, sis. Oh my god, am I hallucinating? No, I've come to make amends. No way, you can't fix what's been done. I don't even know what I did. I thought that you loved me. How could I love you? Our parents gave you everything and they gave me nothing. They clearly liked you more. But that wasn't my fault. But you never stuck up for me or tried to include me. Listen, I'm sorry that they didn't treat you the same as they treat me, but I love you and I would never mean to hurt you like that. I'm sorry too. I've been holding a grudge for so long, but I can let it go. I should have told you how I felt sooner. It's okay. I forgive you. I don't want any bad blood between us. <laughs> Congratulations, you succeeded. One more and you'll make it to heaven. I can do it. Who is it? Your mother. No, I'm not doing that. You have to unless you want to go to the bad place. Hi, I think that you're my mom. <laughs> no shot, kid. You're talking to the wrong girl. But I was just assigned to you by the soulmate system. You were what? 
I have to follow you everywhere you go. I'm not allowed to leave until you find your soulmate. I have to have a 10-year-old following me around all the time. I'm 13, thank you very much. Oh, my bad. At least I'm not a grandma like you. Can I have a sip of that? No. Why not? You're being mean to me. I didn't sign up for this. Neither did I. You suck. What do 13-year-olds do? Do I have to buy you, like, Legos or something? No, I just want to scroll on TikTok. We have to go. Can you drive? No, I'm 13. Oh, I'm right. Sorry. Jessica, why do you have a newborn baby? This is what the soulmate system gave me. Bet you like me now, huh? I have no idea who my soulmate could be, and I don't want to be stuck with this forever. This? Excuse me. Your soulmate has a kid the same age, so go where they'll hang out. I don't know where kids hang out. The mall! No, I hate the mall. Too bad, we're going. I don't know, my arm is starting to look real tasty. No, your breakfast is here. Mom, this is a can of cat food. Yeah, but there's cheddar in it. You're married, how did you and dad find each other? It took many, many years. I can't wait that long. The only way to find out is to break into the factory. I've never committed a crime, but there's a first time for everything, thanks. More cat food, what is wrong with you? Excuse me, do you need something? Hi, I'm here for a uh, maintenance checkup. Oh, go right on in. That was way too easy. Hey, what are you doing back here? Stay back. Are you threatening me with a bottle of Febreze? I need to find out who my soulmate is. That's what everyone says who doesn't want to do the work. They haven't fed me in days. Why didn't you say that? That's illegal. Looks like your soulmate is Jack Smith. Jack? That little bitch. Jack, I need to talk to you right now. Oh, hey, have you met my new girlfriend, Macy? Your girlfriend? I've been feeding her five course meals all week.